Fusion 360 Cam. It's the reason we love it. The tool paths are great. I love the interface. Templates are the most amazing thing. Take a look. Remember that lunar wheel video we did? There's a lot of operations in there and you may want to pull those over into a new part or, or sort of save them. Now, incidentally, with the newest release, you can now right click on a single operation, maybe even multiple, and click copy and then go into a new file, right click and do paste. Um, so that's awesome. But what I want to do is take that to the next level. And what's amazing is, you know, when you go through and you create 2D contours and 3D adaptives and you have all these settings with step overs and tools and parameters and heights, and you want to save all that way beyond what you can just save in a tool library. So check this out. Click on as many ops as you want. You could do all of them or you could do just a couple of them. Right click, store as template. We have a template file. And for the folks that support our channel on Patreon, as little as a buck a month, we'll have this posted. And we constantly update this. This is our 2.5 dimension template file. Because here's the thing, we create a template, but a lot of times we wanna go back in and add something or tweak it. So we've got your typical things that you might see when we're doing 2.5 D work. Face it, adaptive strategies, uh, cleaning, cleaning up inside walls, horizontal for flat parts, spot, drill, tap, trace, a 3D adaptive. I'm gonna click on the first one, hold shift key on the keyboard, click the last one, right click, store as template. I'll just update our 2.5D file. These are stored locally right now, so they won't go across all your Fusion computers. Um, although if you use something like Dropbox or SugarSync, you might be able to hack that. So now I've got all these things stored as a template. Let's take a look, totally real world example. Does this save us time? Go over here to our template example, and here's a DXF of a bracket that a customer needs made. I'm gonna hit Q for press pull, click this, go up to 0.5 inches. Now we've got our bracket thickness. Turn off my sketch here. Model cam, create a new setup. Stock, mine's defaulting to circle for some reason, but I'll do a fixed size box of 4.5, 4.5. Click OK. So we have our setup now. Here's the magic part. Right click, create from template, 2.5D. For some silly reason, it doesn't expand this tree, so just expand it. All your stuff is there. Go ahead and right click, generate tool path. Now we're still gonna get a bunch of errors because there are things where we've gotta tell it what we want it to do. So for instance, the 2D adaptive, it doesn't know what we want it to do. So I'll click edit, and I'm not gonna click anything else other than the stuff I want. This bottom profile, this inside circle, okay. This is my clean uh, 32 adaptive. I don't even need to use it on this one, so I'm gonna delete it. It's way quicker in our experience to have extra stuff in your template and then delete it out. So for instance, have a spot drill tap in your template and it's real quick to delete it versus adding a second template. 2D contour I do want, same geometry. Off the floor, that's a one I don't, we're not gonna use here, we don't need a horizontal. Spotting, again, just click it, boom, boom. Drilling, I'd have to change the drill, but that's the wrong size. Chamfering, we should do a video on chamfering because they Fusion 360 does a great job at it, but it's a weird strategy. There's no chamfered edges here, so we don't need the 2D contour chamfer. I do want the 2D chamfer feature, so I'm gonna click my edges here. Don't need a 3D adaptive, don't have any engraving, don't have any tapping. Let's just watch it, simulate. And what's cool is it has all my settings. It has my step over for my Superfly saved in here. It has my width of cut, depth of cut um, per, for the shear hog. You know, not just your feeds and speeds. It's got your, your own recipe, which to me is great because it takes out the stress of having to forget, oh, I meant to check uh, machine, or uh, what's it called, bottom area detection, or I didn't, you know, I always wanted to change the helix ramp and I always forget to change it. It's in your template, done. Look at this, folks. Spot drill tap, and then it's gonna chamfer. So you tell me, if you don't think that's awesome, 
I do. I love it. Templates are awesome. They're great for 2.5D. They're great for 3D. They're great for lathe work. We love them, folks. If you guys use them, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, we're off because i got to go get ready for this open house. Take care, folks.